Gentlemen, we're back in the lab. Oh. Uh, when was the last time we did a podcast in Fuck the same room? Two weeks. Oh, feels like a lifetime. <laughs> two sicknesses in twelve countries ago. Yep. We're back. We're sweaty. We're back. We're sweaty. The two boys have been boxing. Uh, look out! Look out, man! <laughs> Swinging them hands. The Sultans of Swing. That's what we called ourselves. <laughs> we were playing the Sultans of Swing, and we're like, that's that's a new nickname. I instantly fell in love with it. I loved it. Top heavyweight boxer contender. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Same as me. Through one punch. Donner did. Listen, I was trying to impress. Were you? I was like, I want to impress Donner. It's fun when you're trying to impress big boys, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, just, just say good job. And he's, he's like, yeah, he's like, good man. You're like, thanks, Donner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Donner. <laughs> he came up to me and he was like, right, that's a, that's a big man, last bit of the tank. Last bit of the tank. And I was like, fuck. And I was ready to oh, it's go all, it, It's all about emptying the tank. Yeah. He goes, right, last session on the bags. And I was I had to bite my tongue from being like, oh, be mine. As <laughs> soon as I get home. There's another session on the bag. <laughs> Different types of bags in my life. Sniffing the bag. Emptying the bag. I tell you what. My hands. Yeah. I had to do the old fucking PE kit, lost and found. Yeah. You know, I didn't obviously have gloves, so I had to get a yeah. pair. My hands, the smell will never leave. And it doesn't. Because I had to borrow some gloves the first time I went. And uh, I washed them on site. And then I put sanitizer on them, and then I got home, and it was still in, the, in my hands. The smell of... You know what it smells like? Like someone put a tennis ball up their ass. <laughs> like, that's what it's like. It's like tennis ball and ass. <laughs> like rubber and ass? Yeah, like a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> that's so specific. <laughs> someone put a squash ball up their pisser. <laughs> Let me smell it. Why would it just put it out? Why are you like no, the cock I, end of the hand? You know, to keep it all in there and then have it come out. <laughs> yeah. I would say take the tennis ball out of the equation. Yeah. <laughs> just, just just, it smells like you had your hand in someone's ass. <laughs> no, it smells like someone left a rugby kit in a bag for like three weeks. Yeah. With a sandwich. It does have a kit smell. Yeah. A little bit of ham in there. But that's good. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I, I was trained in the, the other gym and I was like, oh, like it's like this is a nice uh, proper dingy gym, like no treadmills or nothing. And he was like, this is luxury. Yeah. He goes, you go to a real boxing gym, you're like blood and piss and. Yeah, it kept. For decades. Yeah. The place stinks. But I think that's kind of, you know. Hasn't been a toilet roll in there since, you know, the 80s. Get you into the mainframe. Oh, no Carex in a real boxing gym. No. You know. Now you get that ringworm. You and boys had blood orange hand soap. I was like, we're not gritty. They, they had blood orange? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, the blood orange did not hunt this. <laughs> no, fuck. <laughs> Just blood. <laughs> Just old blood <laughs> and orange stains. <laughs> oh, anyway, I've just got my voice back, kind of. <sighs> yeah, how you feeling? I feel fine. I was just, I sounded really sick there Yeah, for a you were weeks. sick as a dog. Eh, sick as a dog. Now, uh, I had to reschedule a couple of gigs. Will I, will I tell the people about them? Yeah, we were supposed to be going over Easter. Uh, we, there's two tours happening simultaneously and on different dates. Okay, the Bomb Squad is going on tour, which kicks off in. Uh, well, well, this is this going out Tuesday, Monday, Monday, Monday. Fucking yeah! yeah! We've got a gig on Thursday at the Millennium Forum in Derry, mm-hmm. uh, which is as good as sold out. I don't know if they've officially announced that, but it's you know there's like fucking. I mean, there's like 900 seats and then there's like 800. Yeah, I think it's a bunch of singles. Uh, <coughs> on the day, there'll be a couple of last minute boys going, let's go to that. And one of your mates won't get a ticket. And I'll I'll be like, fucking told you. Fucking told you, didn't I? But anyway, this is where we're going. I'll tell you right now where we're going. Won't I? Won't I not? Cut out this dead air. Uh, <laughs> Derry on Thursday, probably sold out. Belfast on the 27th of April. Sold out. Sold out as well. Uh, Edinburgh Monkey Barrel, you guessed it. Sold out. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday, the is is there a, is the other date? Are we actually in the 29th in Glasgow again? Yeah. See. Sí. See. Sí. <laughs> He's come back speaking Spanish from Japan. Ja- <laughs> and he said Japan. <laughs> That's how a Spanish person was said. He's Japan. Uh, I think we're doing a gig on the 29th in the Glasgow Glee, which are, there might be a few <laughs> tickets left for. Get that. The one on the 1st of May sold out. Edinburgh sold out. Dublin sold out. London, Leicester Square Theatre on the 16th of May. What have you got going about? If you need, if you're in London and you want to do something that's not take coke off a hooker's shitter, 
You can, well, you can probably do that at our gig too. But uh, yeah, we'll be in Leicester Square Theatre, 16th of May, uh, Friday the 17th of May, Hot Water Comedy Club Liverpool, and uh, 18th of May, New Century Hall, Manchester. Very Go to that. Manchester? Bring it, everyone. Manchester, <laughs> phone people, phone your ex. Listen, they overshot. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I never, listen, I know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but we'll we'll see. We'll have a conversation about that. And the conversation will be, cancel it! No, but no, we're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're definitely going. Listen, you bastards. If you like listening to this podcast and you, you know, you've listened to how many episodes? 52? Three? Four. Four? And you think, Jesus, you know what I'd love more than anything other than a fat dong in my ass? <laughs> I'd love 54 more episodes of Bomb Squad. Well, it is available. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash the Bomb Squad pod. Uh, are they going to love it? They're going to fucking have a great time. They're going to have a great time. Get on over there. Sign up. Give us a tenner, you slags. Big kisses. And uh, also, I did a couple of reschedules because I had no voice over Easter. So if you were thinking of going to Dundalk on the 14th of April. That's in a, in a week or so. Go to that. First one sold out the 7th. My new gig, my, my gig's been rescheduled. We're going to Drakeda. Nice. Uh, that's on the 8th of June at the TLT, the Tommy Larry Theatre. Uh, and then 13th, 14th, and 15th of June, we're going Limerick, Galway, Cork. And uh, the tickets are getting right low on for them too. So if you want to go to Colin Gilson, not Colin getting hooked up, up on this motherfucker. And that's all. That's all I have to sell to you. Today. Scoop him up the fuck. Scoop him up the fuck. You want to watch the Pope licking this girl's feet just for the crack get us going? <laughs> Start us when to go on. Look at this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can't hear. Why is he doing that? Because he, lo- he loves it. Is that to offer eternal blessings? Or what is that? I don't know. Is that, is that like a Jesus throwback where Jesus was like cleaned the feet of the tramps and licked them? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, foot freak also. <laughs> I but the tongue of Christ would clean a foot handier than the Pope tongue like. Same thing. Aye, but maybe Jesus did it with a holy tongue and maybe the Pope's just yeah, like, you can't. Aye, Jesus did it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have the holy tongue. He just got demons. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's got a root. That's all he's got. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's, everyone's like, Francis, Francis, you didn't have to do that. And he's like, it is my duty. Like, oh, 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 the root of Christ. <laughs> the root of Christ. <laughs> yeah, when he puts it in his mouth, he's like, body of Christ. <laughs> Which is an usher song, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have to do that at all, Francis. He just, he just fancied that, I think. Nah. Oh, the Lord said for me to suck all everyone's toes, no? In the name of Christ. What was the... I didn't even get a look at the woman that his funny was looking. Oh, you'd seen if she's a hottie? She looks concerned. All right. Yeah. Nah, Kyle, you don't have to be doing all that. She's probably like, I thought, oh. this, I thought this was a Korean nail shop. <laughs> What the fuck's the Pope doing? Where's his apples? What's, what's the Pope doing here? Sucking my toes, bro. And then she just leaves. Going, I don't need. You didn't even, I, thought, I, I genuinely thought I was getting the acrylics though. Oh, you did for the flax though. You would. Who do would? I would get my toes sucked by the Pope. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd be like here, selfie like that. <laughs> you better bring him back up. <laughs> you better bring the listery. <laughs> Think my hands are smelly. Gotta go down feet. <laughs> You're gonna need the disciples in first one. <laughs> Toe each. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to get, you'd have to, you know, you'd, have, you'd be sucking your toes. You'd be like, right, you're down there. Money messing. Money messing. I'm too old for you anyway. See you later. <laughs> who was in the disciples? Who was in the squad? Uh, all right, do you want to guess him? Do you want to guess? Judas was one. He was there, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Names of Jesus' disciples. Judas was never about it. Nah. Judas was a snake in the grass. <laughs> you're a rat. Um, I'll let you guess them. They're very, I'll give me this. I honestly have an ocean, like. Just guess, right? Fellas' names. Matthew. Yeah. John. Come. Yeah. David. No, no David, no Jews in there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Wait, was Judas Jew? It's all in the name, baby. I don't know. It could be. Judas. <laughs> I'm sitting on my fucking headphones. Uh, oh. But no, it's literally just like if you opened a book of baby names. Simon? Uh, yep, Simon. Simon. Uh, Jonathan? No. Uh, Neil? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's way more basic than that. James, Thomas, Matthew, Judas. Uh, I mean, yeah. 
James, John, Andrew, Philip, Peter, Philip, uh, James, son of Alphys, Bartholomew. Oh, no, oh wait, no. there's two Judases. Oh, there you go. Uh, Ju- Judas Thaddeus getting getting stick. You Judas bastard. I'm a different Judas. Sorry. Wait, so hang on. There was two Judases and one of them didn't do the dirt? Yeah, Ju- Judas. Ju- <laughs> Judas was Judas, No, Judas Thaddeus. Sound. Yeah. Judas Iscariot. Bad Poor. See, Iscariot, bad. you would think that. Yeah. If you're judging off surnames alone, yeah, Iscariot, you'd be like, Iscariot's definitely Iscariot, the rat, the rat. You rat bastard. <laughs> Iscariot. Yeah, yeah. I for a, pouch, a papoose full of coins, you. You bad bastard. <laughs> bring the papooses back. Oh, yeah. Bring the, there was a rapper called Papoose. Go to the strip club. Throw the papoose out. <laughs> Make it rain. <laughs> there was a rapper called Papoose. Who was that? He was like a real hardcore sort of New York rapper, uh, trying to act hard, being like, "Yo, it's Papoose." Some terrible rap names. Memphis Bleak, remember him? Uh, Papoose rapper. Where's my man Papoose? Alphabetical <laughs> slaughter. <laughs> no. Is that like uh, you know he's coming over there and then? Oh wait, I do know this. I'm gonna run y'all through this little thugication right now. Thugication. Thugication. Yeah, of course. The Degree. Oh, he's going through the alphabet. Yeah. C. <laughs> it's thugication. It's thugication. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Anyway, we haven't been, we haven't done a podcast together in a couple of weeks. Any crack? That's fuck all. <laughs> now I was on his holidays in Japan. There, Where am I in Japan. He's living it up. <laughs> he's living it up. Fucking noodles and fucking, you know, running around a wee uh, tartan skirt and all, <laughs> doing all Japanese. Life changing trip. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. Unreal. Different man. We need to go. We need to go. Yeah, Boys bugger, need to go. it. Tell us about the things you were telling us about earlier. The uh, wee cafes. <laughs> oh, the maid, maid cafes. That's what it Maid was. cafes? Maid, maid. Maid cafes. Yeah, so you can pick up a girl on the street and she'll uh, whisper sweet nothings to you all night. See, he, he Just a girlfriend experience? Yes. That's yeah, it. just for a chat. Because I was only half listening to that conversation and he's like, do you fuck? <laughs> Would you be fucking these women? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because, you know, if you have, like, you know, your stereotypical, like, lady of the night, you know, most of the times, you don't just take them out for conversation. Well, there's what I originally heard when I said he was, like, these meat cafes, and these women bring you into them. Yeah. I was like, there's a woman in the street, you pick one, she takes you in that cafe, starts feeding you lines of sirloin, and yeah. just talks to you. Which would be, I'd pay for that, no bar. Probably yeah. could pay for that. Yeah. I'd no pay bar. for that. That's an easy night for a lady of the night. Yeah. Listen, love, just feed me a lock of T-bone. <laughs> and tell me I'm funny. Let's go to KFC. We'll get nuggets from McFlurry. <laughs> and you validate me for an hour. That'd if, be I, nice. if I had a brothel, I would call it the meat cafe, though. Yeah. yeah. But you'd have to... G- <laughs> it's actually, it sounds more like a gay brothel. Come yeah, to, the meat cafe? Come to the meat cafe. Get a slab of dong in your face. Wagyu dong. <laughs> Plenty, oh, we're back! Plenty of veiny fat through it. We're so back! Excuse me, we in tourist mode. Excuse me, did you do a wagyu dong? <laughs> Name of the podcast, obviously. I, I tell you what, Niall, all the pictures all you put up, fucking delightful to look at. My favorite one by far. This is an architecture hall's great. I get it. I get it. But the one I really liked was just a 7 Eleven dumping that he put Sweaty up. Sweaty dumping. Yeah. Oh, sir, it was soaking. And so was I. <laughs> yeah. And uh, my, my particular favorite was uh, the Lamborghini Countach, oh, uh, uh, which if I don't know how many views you got in your story, two thirds of it was me on a loop, <laughs> just going, oh, Jesus, yeah. really looking bad there. Yeah. You've been on a couple of trips recently where I've I've been on your stories and, and uh, like audibly went, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> just went, fuck you anyway. <laughs> you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even like it anyway. <laughs> you appreciate that. <laughs> We're heading to Japan. We're heading to Japan. Yeah, that's before the end of the year. We're gonna get, to go to Japan. Get your dim sum at a meat cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Might have just lost Aaron for the whole trip. Probably Where were you? Like, man, the conversations I've had with these hot chicks. <laughs> the bag, the mental bag is empty. <laughs> We've got Patreon banked for two months. <laughs> <laughs> I did podcasts with twelve prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be great. I I want to interview people like that. You yeah. know? Dong Squad. Dong Squad. <laughs> They would be the dog squad. Oh, yeah. Stand outside with the wee brochure. <laughs> I'd love to see you just tear in there, wee tiny Japanese prostitute. Um, in a sexual way. <laughs> she just disappears for a couple of seconds. What was the former way? Just like no, giving her no, grace? No, yeah, tearing in. It sounded like you were killing her with a machete or something. Yeah. But, you know. No, that would be too much. Yeah. 
Too much to charge. So these boys, you know, they're all like, you know, Japan's weird because it's all like, oh, you know, fucking, you know, oh, take me out, talk to me while you give me, well, we'll have dinner together. I'm a busy, I'm a busy man. We'll have a wee conversation, girlfriend experience. But at what point when they settle down, are they putting octopuses in each other's butt? Because <laughs> they go, they go like, oh, to, well, it's <laughs> squared up the pisser. Well, it's probably... <laughs> It's probably something that maybe organically happens. Because you know? <laughs> the service that they're paying for is the conversation, which is there's something so innocent and lovely about that. And then I assume that sometimes people really hit it off and then the octopus comes out. Or they having dinner and then he's like, you eating that? And she's like, no. And he's like, get it to go. You know what I mean? Hot the trap up that ass. Wait, are you talking about? Is the guy talking about his pipe here? No, and it's it's gonna, it's gonna, when they get all that weird with the tentacles. And all. <laughs> all right, okay. I thought you meant like he'd slip his dong onto a wee Negri. <laughs> that would be funny. You just get a wee brick of rice and just <laughs> slap your pipe on, tie it on with a bit of seaweed. Do that sushi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just do a calendar of uh, your cock and food scenarios. <laughs> Hot dogs are, are given. <laughs> the cock nigiri. Uh, blue vein tuna. Uh, what other scenarios? Oh, fuck. What else would you put your cock in? Um, I've run out of ideas immediately. Yeah. Soup and hot dogs. Uh, soup and dogs. What could I stick my penis in for food? Um, it's the box. Toad in a hole. Toad in a hole. <laughs> yes. There we go. Perfect. You know, know? You'd have to bake it in, <laughs> bake it into the pastry. <laughs> be sore. <laughs> I'd say people would probably do that. Someone has to. There's no way someone hasn't done before the flaccid piece on the the gravy, like sticky rice setup. It has to have been done. Let's see. There's no way. I had, no a, way. I had a brand new pair of purple boxers on the other day, and you you know the way you get the the fluffy bell. Yeah, yeah. There's a perfect. Purple circle look like a fruit loop, <laughs> but anyway, like you mean, like went the whole way around the tip, yeah, like perfectly in a circle, yeah. That's legit. Impre- you should have probably took a picture of that. I felt like it, yeah. I you can't like show it, it. Anybody, but, it, the, but the purple wasn't show- <laughs> showing up uh, amongst the other purple. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? it was a like camo. Yeah, and he did. It was like where's Wally? Penis infection? Uh, are these pre? Are they pre? Can penis cancer? No thanks. Uh, penis on sushi. For the people. I had a penis shaped sushi dish. Uh, no, no, no one's, oh, I mean, so a couple of people have made a, you know, a cock shaped sushi. That looks delicious. But no one's really went, no one's really went dong on. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Bro, I'm never going to sushi cafe again. Yeah. Circumcised, nevering. Oh, dear. Someone's squeezing the ball band clean off that. <laughs> yeah, the balls are. Listen, we take a couple of weeks off and we come back like nothing ever changed. Yeah. It's like riding a bike. Let me see what other cock shaped. I did actually see, you know, one of those like mukbang videos where people, you know, they will cook like weird stuff and eat it. Yeah. And this girl, like, it was the it was the penis of something because it was like cock detached testes, but she'd made a full, you know, like stew from it, and she just she took it out so aggressively, like ah, like a big handful of cooked penis, oh. and just went Hum! and just chomped through. Well, that sound like do you have the headphones on for that one? Well, you know it's a mukbang thing, so she's like, <laughs> you know. I don't know. Like, there's so many parts of it, and I just don't get. Like, I don't get the mukbang thing. What do you call the? There was like a famous sort of guy would eat stuff on online, and he got really, really fat, and then it got to the point where he was just eating like ten KFCs and crying. I hope it's not the guy that would bring his full out table everywhere. That no, guy? no, no, <laughs> no. I, like I feel like I feel like you would know place. who it is. You remember, it was like a famous American guy, Anthony. So I don't know. But the guy was like a normal sized guy just trying food and then it just got worse and worse and worse where it was like he would be putting like 40 packets of ramen in the bucket and eating it all and then just crying after it, feeling terrible with himself. Oh God. But I think he got back on track. I think he lost oh, a bit of weight. God. I think he lost yes. a bit of weight because it was going in a bad direction. Yeah, that's a bad time. I've gone in a bad, I've gone in a bad direction. Eating KFC and crying. <sighs> I mean, it's not something I haven't done. But, I, you know, I wouldn't I, I, I would certainly try it once. Try it without crying, then try it with crying. Well, yeah, because you have the see, release, and then you know you yeah. see what's better. MSGs. Uh, I keep getting cravings for KFC, and then 
I eventually had one when we were in Letter County and it was fairly underwhelming. It's always let down. It's a yeah. It's one of them ones the idea is better than the actual I want nineteen nineties granny taking me for a <coughs> KFC KFC. Yeah. Which uh they don't even do anymore. KFCs and Domino's exist in the same pool where the idea is always better. Yeah. Domino's will give you depression, like there's death, I don't know what to put that in that. I I you know, I'm not a food snob, but I do refuse to eat it. I just don't want to eat it. Yeah. Something about it makes me sad. Yeah. That and eating it in Ikea. I'm like, no. Never at an Ikea. But people, that's a day out for people. People are like, let's go and buy a lamp and then the whole family eats in Ikea. Yeah, I've heard about the meatballs. They probably have nothing on fucking, what do you call it? The motorway restaurant? Oh, no. Not a chance. No, 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 no. They're, they're fucking... They're hand roll, they're meatballs. That place is unbelievable. I've been there four times since. Have you? Yeah. Full dinners. You were there without me one day. I haven't been with you at all, but... McCarthy took a picture of me. I, used were, I was in the house too. Yeah. I could have called around. But you were... No, did you not say you were away for something Anderson? I think you sent me a photo when I was already house? eating. Yeah, that's what it was. I should have just yacked it up and went for a meatball yeah. at the side of the road. <laughs> so good. Popular enough spot, though, I'll tell you that there. Oh, it's great. I had, a, I had my first... You know, there's obviously Eddie's four, and we've had a couple of Easter's, but we had the first, like, he's old enough to do things, Easter. And we went down uh, to a duck race. And then we, the acting I was doing, Oscar worthy. Enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look what's going Look at this. What? <laughs> so know? he had his own duck, like in the Fucking. race? Fucking. You know, well, be pretty funny. I, to, be pretty funny to kill yourself in a duck yeah. race. <laughs> <laughs> the restaurant's cheering, the duck's coming down the river, and you just flop. <laughs> just your body, head flowing down the river. Body just flops into the water. Oh, oh my God, a man killed himself. <laughs> then, you, then you have PTSD at Ducks. Yeah. And then there's a, a couple of people you run into who are like in full disbelief that, that I'm there. Jesus, what are you, what are you doing on a duck race? That's so funny. I'm like I have a child. Yeah, what what else would you be doing in a duck race? Aye. A vlog, mate. I'm that's doing a, a vlog. That's when people start talking. You go to the duck race solo. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. I was looking around for solo, man. Yeah. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> Imagine we just really into duck races. Yeah, it could be I'll a mess dog race this year. Follow them around. <laughs> take drone footage. <laughs> but yeah, but they, they let the ducks come down and then they had a, because there's obviously like hundreds of them and they, they had a winner and then they split them up again and do another rate. And I was like, man, I thought, I said the morning. I didn't say it to her, but I said it with my eyes. I was like, I thought, yeah. I thought it was one. Yeah. I thought it was fucking one race. fuckers doing laps? And then another race went past and they were like, right, now the finalists. By the way, there's a guy with a wee bullhorn, which would have been louder had he not had it. Brilliant. If he had it, just went, guys, we're doing a duck race, but instead he was going, like, guys, we're doing a duck race today. <laughs> and then the guy actually had the fucking, you know, like the wee duck call, what do you call him? Like a wee duck whistle or something? Maybe you go like, Hur. oh, yeah. Hur. But then the guy had the professional one, which is, looks like Drake's cock, like a big wobbly <laughs> thing, and you shake it, and it goes, <laughs> and he's wobbling that about. And I was like, bro, that's a, looks a bit cock ass. Yeah, you're doing too much. What do you call them? Duck squirter? What do they call them? Duck call, what, what, what do you call them? What do you call them? Any boys now? Duck caller. The duck dogs? There is there is one that's a, I don't know what they're right. Like, yeah, it was like that. Sir. So you get, he was, he was standing there like, ha, 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 ha. Just shaking all over the place. That's a dice act at Henry the Hoover. It's a, ha, 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 ha. I wonder is it one. <laughs> oh, it's got a German name, of course. But yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of like, bro, this isn't, these aren't real ducks, like. Yeah, because I assume you take one of those hunting and you go, <laughs> and uh, you know the ducks go, oh we're safe, and they fly, and then you go, motherfucker, <laughs> with an AR, yeah, take them out. It is funny how easily you can trick animals into killing them, man. Yeah, you know, like fishing as well, is the same shit. You're like, how yeah. how is word not spread? Yeah, the fish is like, oh sweet, bit of tinfoil. I love tinfoil. Yeah, <laughs> oh, there's a hook through my brain. <laughs> Fuck, you've been fishing. No, but I think I would like it. I feel like I'd like it too. Or I would lose the rag and be in the water, punching water, trying to kill one. Yeah, I think if I was to guess our collective reaction to it, we'd probably enjoy it for 10 minutes and then get fed up and be like, well, we just get a KFC. Or you'd sit around like on your phone. Yeah. And then it, you would get a bit of a tug on the line and then you would freak out. Yeah. Someone help me. It'll be lost. Help me, please. No, I think I'd like and it. And then you, what do you do? You, like, you, you got to release it or keep it? Release it or keep it, but sure, I wouldn't know what to do with it if I kept it. I read some statistic. Apparently, most of them just die anyway. Yeah. 
And then I also heard a thing. I also heard a thing where it was like the, just the heat of human hands is like so hot to a fish. Yeah. That it like freaks them out and kills them. Yeah. So it's like they flew too close to the sun. Yeah. Just burn up. Yeah. It's like sunburn from hands. Yeah. Yeah. Tough life being a fish. Tough but life yeah, being an aqua. What a nice Easter. Give, give Eddie if you know, he actually ate a full egg and then went, I think I've had too much egg. I feel sick. And I went, well, I'll teach you. Give it to daddy. That's a good sign of him. The one yeah, I seconds him? Yeah. We used to fucking chow for them. Yeah, I, I have a distinct memory of my sister throwing up on the stairs in our house. <laughs> yeah. On our carpeted stairs. It is hard to bit an egg in the fridge, though. Yeah. Like you smash her, put it in the fridge, leave her about 15, come back, pristine. Do you like a hard chocolate? Love a hard chocolate. Oh, I like a soft one. Though. Nah, soft, no good. I like to put it in my mouth, <laughs> let it melt. No, I like to put it in, chip my teeth, <laughs> and then swallow both contents. <laughs> That's what I like. Do you, like know we, do you know what we got, Eddie? Big Kinder Egg. Oh, and there's a big toy in it? Yeah. Yeah, those are great. Yeah. My, my nephew said some of them too. Fucking with that size. Full yeah. thing in it. It's good I, times. Keep, I forget every year that Easter is like a thing. It's the holiest ho- holiday of the year. But like, I forget that it's like, uh, oh, you know, because my mom was like, oh, we're going to Allison's. And I'm like, why? She's like, oh, it's Easter. And I was like, oh, so what? Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, we do this every year. We would sit down and family dinner. But it's because it, 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 there's no distinct date for for Easter. Yeah. It changes a wee bit, so it freaks people out. Yeah. Much like when Caitlyn Jenner. Careful. No. <laughs> I will not. Caitlyn Jenner uh, was complaining about Joe Biden, where he's like, it's, it's Trans Visibility Day. But it was also like Easter Sunday. And Caitlyn Jenner was like, it should all, the only words you should be saying today are, the Lord saves us or something. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner having her cake and eating it, you know she's oh, she's like I she's like I can be trans, but not you. Have an Easter egg, put it in the fridge, and eat it. But that's what she was saying. She was going like, oh, you you know you can't have trans visibility day on Easter. And then someone in a wee comment was like, yeah, but Easter won't be on the same day next year, so yeah, you, you can crack on. Yeah, and she's like, well, sh- sh- I killed a woman. <laughs> Shut up, or I'll hit you with my car and drive away. <laughs> Six foot eight walking out of the room. Trans visibility. Trans visibility, yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? See the dong? Like, yeah, it's only like one day a year, Chris, you see them. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Sorry for using your uh, name in vain. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Any years of lamb on the Easter? <laughs> <laughs> that can get fucked, too. Uh, that's a tradition of both sizes. They have lamb. We never are eating lamb at dinner, like. You know. Did you have it at the, at the sister's house? No, no, no. Allison just essentially, it was just a, it was a Christmas dinner type beat. I thought uh, Easter was, you had a fish or something? Is that not? That's the Friday. That's ah, good Friday. Getcha. Which uh, Nicholas did that and I was like, who are you trying to get here? You big Christian now? No, so I was like, you, boying him. You, you big, oh, big holy you? Uh, yeah. Saved, are you? Yeah. Saved by the Lord? Fucking, that bit of battered cod going to save you? <laughs> I know. The depths not, of hell? I know. No one's ever like... You need you need a biblical fish, yeah. Don't you? You can't be just having a battered cod. Yeah, California rolls. California, you need something <laughs> with a head still on it, you know. And then you turn it into you know a bunch of other fish. Feed your mates. Did you eat meat on Friday? I eat meat every day. Play. <laughs> you fucking even meat a, cafe. I had, had a fucking had a, had a meat egg. <laughs> yeah, that's how I celebrate Easter. Eighteen scrambled eggs. That'd be great if they did a meat egg. You know. I feel like they could in the manosphere. They're like, don't don't eat, you know, that fucking chocolate. It's bad for you. We're going to have you a char-grilled steak. Just ball. Uh, yeah, a, meat, a meatball? Yeah. A meat egg. Yeah, a meatball egg. Yeah, but like medium steak and all. And, you know. Yeah, I mean, I was think, in my head, I was thinking about those eggs that, you know, Filipinos eat with a, a bird still in it. That's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I don't want. I don't want to dunk on anyone's culture. That's but fuck that. Yeah, hey guys, give it a minute. We can maybe redo the memory. Give it a minute so one. it's a full chicken. Yeah, yeah. But can you like? Do you taste the? Like, you're just charm bird. Uh, oh yeah, apparently it's late. I'm like, you know, but they're like, you know, what what came first, the egg or the chicken? They're like both. Both. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Yeah, you're crunching through bacon. On They'd be sick then now. Second? Aye. Oh, you wouldn't have two of them. Nah, you wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't be having two of them. Nah. It's not late. <laughs> what? Heavy them, Elbert. Went rich. I saw Matty Matheson eating one once, and he said, he goes, it literally just tastes like a, like a farmyard. You know, it's very, 
very farming in the mouth. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I might have thought it was or Sunday too. Was you? Oh my. Gins for Jesus. What'd she say? It's Christmas somewhere. <laughs> 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 oh, gee. Oh, what was the saying? I forget now. I was joking. Well, Maureen's dad saying, oh, you know, oh, it's five o'clock somewhere. And then he hit me with some medieval, you, you know, like saying about, oh, the, the, the fucking sun's over the something. Oh, I wish you could remember. That's a terrible story. But it was great. It was a great one to pull out. Nice. You know, if you want to be an alcoholic at 11 in the morning. I saw a wee cheeky, like, oil boy kind of remark. You know, like, you, stuff that you're like, if this was primary school, I'd be going in and this would be all around the playground. Mm. I was watching, uh, me and the mother was watching the film, and I actually Googled, because you know how I know her, what her specific taste is, like a doll trying to get out of a dangerous scenario. So I just looked up uh, Woman in Trouble movies, and one popped up, and it was the Royal, Royal Hotel, and it's an Australian film. It's about these two backpackers. They come from Canada to Australia, they run out of money, so they take on a job, and it's at this bar in the middle of fucking nowhere in Australia. Australia, by the way, see how it's said to them cities? De- like, yeah. weird, scary vibes. Oh, yeah. And they pull up to this kind of, like, you know, bar that has an apartment above it, and the girls are, like, you know, they're very progressive and all. They've came from Canada, and these Australian men just hate them. Yeah. You know, no respect for women whatsoever. No. And uh guy comes in, it's this girl's first shift, and he goes, can I get a dick and soda? And she goes, Ex- excuse me? And she, he's like, a dick and soda? And she's like, we don't sell that. We just have lager. And he's like, you don't have a dick and soda? And, he, and the, the guy keeps on going and she's like, what is that? Like a dick and cider? And then the kind of light bulb goes off in her head and she's like, oh God, I hate it here. I got to leave. And the boy's just sitting there the whole time being like, <laughs> <laughs> dick and soda? I'm pretty sure uh, Jamie Oliver had a, pub called the cock and cider I, Jimmy knows what he's at he's a dirty day bastard <laughs> dirty fucking you bastard you think when I'm clamping down in them turkey dinosaurs there's not a bit of banter in Oliver but you'd be mistaken you know speaking of Maureen's dad just text me it's Japan p- Airlines picking up speed for takeoff unreal we've started we've cu- that's the world rally page we've, we've started a whole movement here yeah started a whole movement I was in contact with Warren I forgot to tell you there was a we were on house lockdown it was like fucking it was like COVID all over again there was a rally that's right on the road outside our house we couldn't leave the house I've seen your story yeah it was wild fun though fun as fuck you know absolutely ludicrous like you know you're just hanging over the wall of like your neighbours and this car just is like <laughs> and you're like Jesus Christ it's bro scary, like. it is scary because like I know the cars are high performance but like one fucking did anybody fear him or was he no, fucking he was all for pumped, it? Man. Yeah, absolutely that. shaking. Like, that. Yeah, that's great. There's, and then, but like, you know, any any wrong turn and you're in through someone's fucking conservatory. Yeah, right? how long would you just have to stay out for? All day. It was like seven to seven to six or something. Yeah, but it was great. It was good crack. But you know, what was funny. Like our driveway, the one of the turns was right after our driveway, and we were standing in the driveway, obviously watching, and five or six cars like braked early and went to turn up our driveway and had to go oh fuck and then rrr, around the next corner oh, Jesus I'd put the fear of God in me not the kitchen that we were all too. just we were all just standing there like go right, the next one <laughs> and then of course Maureen's dad because he used to actually rally a bit and like has worked in rallying forever he was like fucking stupid bastard no fucking <laughs> he was that's the he was because there's like a hundred and some cars so like the first twenty are like the good ones <laughs> And then the cars just get like worse and older and shitter until they're just going around in like a Corsa. That's an extremely rare occurrence too, where you hear someone talking about that and they actually have in-depth knowledge about it. Yeah. You know? Oh, there's too much knowledge. Yeah. Like he was going, he goes, yeah, these boys are just doing it for the crack. Like, he's, you know, that's bad driving. And then he goes, some of the guys might be coming from like England and they didn't have time to do the loop and make their own pace notes. So they just buy them off someone else. And I was like, man, the behind the scenes action and rallying. Oh, man. So they, so you might just turn up and be like, "Hello, mate, got any pace notes?" <laughs> and uh, someone's just gives you the, theirs, and yeah, these motherfuckers were up the driveway like so, what, they they would all slow down as if they were gonna go, and then you could see someone's hand be like this one, and then they would go, Ugh! but like one guy fucking indicator on straight up the driveway, and then had the fucking, I think going into reverse is a big deal for a, yeah, you know, because you're like back down through all the gears, and then uh, the other guy just going, "You fucking stupid." Yeah, <laughs> that's a fun time. 
But it is insane. It is insane because you would see different, you know, Maureen would show me different videos from people who she knew in the area. And like one, there was one corner where they kept just kicking up mud. And then after time, like the whole road was just covered in muck. And everybody would just come around and skid and like slide into a hedge and have to reverse and go away. And just one after another. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's scary. Yeah. But it, I mean, good event though. I mean, it's very, you'd love. And for free? Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Too bad, no? Exactly. You can't leave the house, like. You yeah. Know, couldn't get milk till seven o'clock at night. But you knew about it, like, well I mean, in advance. Yeah. We knew about it. These were stocked. But I, I thought I was going to be away gigging. But instead, I was just at home with no voice going, oh, Jesus Christ, look at the speed of that. Yeah. Fuck right enough. What oh, my God. You couldn't have done a gig if you'd won on. That's why I cancelled them. Yeah. I had to move them. I just, I, I, I had no voice on, like, Tuesday. And I was like, I don't know what state I'll be in on, like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I'll just call it early. And I didn't sure enough, you and you sounded rough. And sure enough, I was fucking, I was good doing a lot of coughing when you rang me. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, God, man's not well. I've had a lot of sweets. A lot of sucky sweets. Yeah. Trying to keep the throat at bay. And then me and my mom watched your special. So embarrassing for me. It's great. Maureen's mom actually suggested that last night. She goes, why don't we put on that special from uh, Colin Geddes, whoever he is. She was like, you know, she's joking. Yeah. And I was like, got you? And I was like, don't you fucking dare. I actually said that to her. I was like, don't you fucking dare. Yeah. And because we were living in their house at the minute, I was like, I swear to God, you put that on, I'll fucking move back into my own house. Yeah, I, I've walked out in the hall before and like heard like Nicholas having the podcast on before. Yeah. And I just have to put my headphones on. <laughs> I pay, can't, I can't listen to it. Pay something down the hallway. Yeah. Don't like it. Don't like it. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's actually, you know, you look at the numbers on YouTube and stuff and then you actually hear, see people in public. Or it, you know what it is? It's usually people that you kind of know, sort of. And they're like, ah, I've seen the podcast. And you're like, don't you, don't you yeah. watch it? Yeah, that's what I mean. I know you. Because we were chatting about paintball the other week and my friend Ian wrote to me about it. And I was like, oh, do you listen to it? And he goes, oh, every week, lad. And I was like, ah. Uh, we'd be slabbering about Ian every week, too. No, no, no. You're big nonce. Fuck's sake, Ian, you big nonce bastard. <laughs> that's not a disciple name, is it? Huh? That's not a disciple name. What? Ian? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the crack, lads? I mean, I just come here for the the, the bread and the fish. To be honest with you, <laughs> oh, he's some man, Jesus. Like I bring in two fish fingers and the has <laughs> tough one, five hundred fish. I don't know where. Like bringing a liter of Bally Gown, the whole house is pushed. No, <laughs> I had a six pack of Avians there. Can walk. How to get a taxi home? Right. <laughs> Yeah, whatever he touches turns to wine. Can't even have a bath. Is there for the pain of Do you know what is fucking stinking? I went to I went to my sister's on Sunday, oh. and you know the way like you don't want to cause a scene. Like my brother-in-law was like, "Oh, do you want a beer?" And I was like, "I'll take a beer, fucking." And he's like, "What do you want?" And I was like, "Oh, whatever you're trying to get rid of." And he actually did because he gave me a Budweiser, oh. like just an actual Budweiser. Yeah. Bud Light, so fun, you know. Yeah. Budweiser stinking. That's an old boy beer now. It is. Got Says a wee the, bottle of Bud there. Run. I must try Budweiser. I haven't had it in a it's long time. Not great. That was one of my first drinking experiences when you could get the wee fat tin. That would seem more fun, wee fat tin of Budweiser. Mm. I think I would have PTSD if I had a Budweiser. Yeah, they're Just a lot the, like. the taste that I've had over the years. I'd be like, oh. I like some of them old fucking real shite American beers. You know, like a Miller High Life. Hard to get. A certain bit of glass to the bottle and all. Yeah. It's nice. Feels nice. Well, that's yeah. part. Of, that's the whole part of it. Like, yeah, it's addictive. You know, if someone poured, you know, Guinness into like a fucking wine glass, you'd be like, eh. Yeah. It has to be. It has to be served correctly. Yeah. Though. You know. Yeah. People even get weird about the wine glasses, don't they? Girls are like, oh, why did they give me the wee fat short glass? As opposed to what? Girls want like a vase. Oh no! I hate you know. Oh, no. You know, like the big like, gin goblets, l- long stem, and then they're like, mm, yeah, I'll be crying later. You know, the amount of them I've seen break them too. Sloppy bitch. Two girls at the front of the laveries the other day going to work. On the gins? Going to work on the fish bowls. Fish bowls at the comedy club? Well, that's what they look like, you know what I mean? All right, sorry, yeah. I thought you meant like actual, like they were getting like fucking sacks in the beach in a fish bowl. Just sipping it at the front No, they were just getting some sort of rhubarb gin. Yeah. But they were fucking, there was no room in the table, like. Mm, rhubarb gin is tasty enough, though. Huh? Is it? Oh, no, well, of course it is. Sweet, though, well, sweet. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah. Put anything but fucking booze in it. Well, I think yeah. the sweetest thing I ever had was a liter of uh, cake flavored vodka. And then I went to see Britney Spears in Vegas. 
Just great as, time. Just as vague as that cake. Great, great time. Well, it was birthday cake. So you know what I'm like for a birthday cake. So I was straight in there. This is not like it. It was pure paint stripper. Um, but it did the job. It mixed it with Sprite. <laughs> Birthday cake and Sprite, that a great combination. Then went to see Brittany and had a sore stomach. I know shit. No, you all plenty. But she was Jesus, but a showman. 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 Great. Show person. She's show them. She was fantastic. Yeah, cake, cake is a vague flavor. Yeah. Like, what is it? Do you make a cake? But see, actual bur- Oh, do you make a cake? That's Fucking good. Man. <laughs> um, but see, do you, like, you make a cake with butter? <laughs> Stop. But see, actual birthday cake. Unbelievable. What is I? I don't even know what actual birthday cake is. Would be over. like the ice, like the thick icing, and then the jam and the cream. Do you want to speaking of cake? This this uh, this toddler has a bit of cake or chocolate or something stuck on her. Mm-hmm. You, you gotta listen to this. This is fucking. My headphones on them. What? Is it diarrhea? Good to hear. Is it diarrhea, Mama? <laughs> so concerned. Is that diarrhea? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me, mommy? Did you do that? No. <laughs> Is that actually diarrhea? <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> what? Did you shake me? That's so funny. That's great. Them Scottish fucking banter pages are unbelievable. Ten out of ten. The ten ultimate out of ten. content hub. Is that diarrhea? Is it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Mama! Are you fucking kidding me? That's a piece of ham, you <laughs> Are you kidding me? My uh, lot of boxing videos and your saved videos? Oh, I, but, oh, I. Don't you worry about Cheating? it. Cheating? You bastard. This is the best video I've seen this week. <laughs> 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 it's the tune and everything. Oh. Do you know what I didn't notice the other day? But I had pop history. The Nas and Jay Z beef was essentially ended by the Rowdles. Really? Yeah. Like Jay Z, because everyone remembers the takeover. Yeah. And then Nas's response was Afer, which, you know, in my opinion, the better diss track. And then Jay Z dropped like a bunch of freestyles and stuff. And one of them was about the fact that he. Uh, had sexual relations with Naz's woman <laughs> and uh, he was talking about skeet skeet in the back of the car next to the baby seat oh. and Jay-Z's mother rang him up and says that's why it's big <laughs> and he went ready and apologized Sean <laughs> when you're fucking necking would you <laughs> grow that mo- the man's mother and apologize it is so funny though but you know the, like the diss tracks are going back and forth and they're talking like I got shooters and then the lol just puts a clamp in all of it you know yeah. everyone's gangster to your mum's phone you exactly can't be skating beside the fucking baby. <laughs> see? You dirty fuck. Get up there, you bastard. <laughs> I'm not fucking them down here for dinner, you. Who's up there? Beyonce. <laughs> uh, so this is Nal sent this. Nal sent this in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> long time listener, first time sender. Uh, Gen Z. What's this from? I have no idea. I Do you want to be Gen Z? Morning. And I'll be I lad. So there, here's the Gen Z versus Owl Lad uh, translations. Yep. You, you want to do the Owl Boy? I'll do Owl Lad. So uh, first up, we have the well-known saying, no cap. I'm not calling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not calling you, lad. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> also, he's dead, yeah? Oh, yes. Yes, he yeah. is. He is past. He's dead. It probably. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, on God, I swear to Jesus. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? Actually, doing the doing the old boy, doing the Gen Z ones. You know, <laughs> on God, I tell you, <laughs> I fucking tell you. Do you see the whole on on God, I tell you. Uh, Riz. Cuter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got that res, the cuter. Mid. Madeline. <laughs> Madeline's great. Jesus, that's absolutely bossing. Many stuff all together. <laughs> <laughs> it's given. Fair slick. <laughs> you put them together, that's it's drag given. queen. <laughs> it's given. Here, it's given fair slick. <laughs> For the morrow. I'm all we get. 
I got a barbecue to these sausages. <laughs> Give them fierce luck. <laughs> <laughs> You heading to the port tomorrow? No, no, it's giving fair. <laughs> He's the goat. There's one man for one man. <laughs> SMF. Uh, I don't really work as good. Uh, drip. Decked out slash rig out. <laughs> rig out? I don't think I've heard that one before. Rig out. Rigged out. Decked out. Rigged out. That's great. They're all better. Yeah. 100% See when people say It's giving Do they just stop there Do they no. just be like Oh these shoes No it's giving I don't know how we haven't Covered this I have had some uh, Education Into Drag queen spec Okay So It's giving And it's serving Are two different things Do tell So it's giving Is like Maybe what the intention was But it's serving Is what actually comes out okay and, I, and do, do if you, you're serving that's a great thing you're serving serving but what if you were only given if you're given you need to work on yourself but if you're serving you know so it's giving like i'm trying to think do you always have to explain both like, could you go, oh, it's serving, but it's kind of given. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You, yeah, you could. Yeah? You could do that, yeah. Yeah. What if you're doing both at once? Oh, no, yeah, I'm, this is beyond my pay grade. What if you're giving and serving? If you're giving and serving? Yeah. I don't know if that's possible. Okay. I don't know if you can do that. So you're always, you're always. I don't want to put limitations on anybody. Yeah. But, but I, I feel, feel like yeah. But I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna be like, oh that t-shirt serving. I mean, what other things do they serve? That's serving. Well, yeah, like you could be like you know, um, like you know, we put the box in that song. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, it's Kevin Card from. Yeah, but what you're serving could be different. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think either of us are serving Card from them. No, you're, st- but you're serving Card Card from them could like sit in my pocket whilst I boxed. I say boxed. You could go in Donard's pocket. Yeah, try, try. Fucking every time I see, I don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'll be cozy in there, feel safe. Every time I see Donard, I'm like, fuck. If you're here, who's man the beanstalk? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and we, you're probably bigger than him. <laughs> I've done that before. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> there was a video from when we were in Vietnam. And obviously, like, we went to those coochie tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get going enough. It's given roots. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, I snattered my hand. But uh, we're walking, you know, you get off the bus and you walk up this sort of, it, it is... It's like a bigger sort of walkway, almost like you're walking out in the football pitch, like a tunnel, uh-huh. not a wee tunnel. But um, <laughs> so I'm walking out, and I Maureen has a camera, and she turned around to me, and I was like, "No way, that's fucking fuck Americans getting in, in these coochie tunnels." <laughs> and then, and then I was like, "I'll walk up beside him for," a co- and I walked up beside him, row bigger than him, taller and wider than him when I got up beside him. Oh, that's and great. then I, ca- I don't even know if it's in those vlogs, but I just came back and I was like, "No, oh, don't use that." Yeah, I was slagging him for not fitting in the tunnel. Sure enough, I was going nowhere near the fucking coochie tunnels. Yeah. I couldn't fit in the coochie tunnels, standard. But, uh... <laughs> nice. Uh, I fit in the coochie tunnels, no bother. <laughs> no, I fall out of the coochie tunnels sometimes. <laughs> you can get the tip in the coochie tunnels, <laughs> I'm telling you. I fucking went up and balled myself up and squatted down as hard as I could and just every edge of my body hit the, the wall of the tunnel. Oh, no. And I was like, I'm not going anywhere in this Has country. anyone ever got stuck in the Gucci tunnel? Uh, probably. Yeah. That's I'd say embarrassing. So. I'd say so. What do they do? I uh, don't actually know because it's Vietnam. I don't, I don't think they have many safety nets, you know. Yeah. There, there's a queue of people behind you and a few someone's oh, ass in front of you going God. up. That's rough. No, not for me. It's not for me. Yeah, I, I feel embarrassed if I'm holding someone up in crazy golf. 
Yeah. But to hold up the whole Coochie Tunnel tour, be a nightmare. Oh, uh, and because you're fat, blocking that Coochie. <laughs> But I'll be honest with you, there was a lot of there was a lot of men going down the going down the ladder to the entrance of the coochie, and then they just turn back and like they were, I wasn't the only one. There was a lot of like fully grown men would just be like, nah, not for me. Yeah. And then a lot of the girls would fit through. Yeah. You know, uh, but it is a cute way in in uh, in Vietnam for them to call you a fuck by using the word Western. Like, what do they say? These made for Western people. Like they'd be like, these would be made bigger for Westerners. Oh, and then they'd fucking give you the one up and down. Like he's like Westerners. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'd be like, fucking who won? <laughs> Not me, anyway. <laughs> Blocking that couch. <laughs> who won? I thought you were saying his name. <laughs> <laughs> who won? Watch it. <laughs> you get one. You'll be going in that tunnel. You fucking. <laughs> But they do have good crack with it, you know, all those booby traps and stuff. You know, they'll be like, uh, they'll be like, you get this thing and you cut it like this, and it swing down, hit you here, like hit you in the crotch, and yeah. like rack your bollocks and dick, and you're like, oh, no, now you're lady boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm good crack with it. And you would see other tour guides that were like better crack than yours. Yeah. He's like, this, hit, this hit you in bollocks, and ah, no more fun time. Some of the some of the things they show you, you're like, just let a bullet hit hit me in the head. Because yeah. like, if, I, if I was in, number one, if I was in this jungle and it was this hot, and I was also in warfare, yeah, I'm going to the duck race. See, yeah, I'm going back to the duck race. <laughs> I'd be in that coochie tunnel with the boys, but uh, yeah, you just like walking along, you stand on a leaf and just fall into a pit full of spikes. Sore man, and warm. It's so inconvenient. So sore and warm. Ah! Fucking roasting. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if I fell into it, was impaled, and then two guys appeared with two air conditioning units. Is but at least let me die in, you know, in a cooler environment. Sore and warm is a perfect executive summary of any time my eyeboy was in holidays. Sore and That's warm. all it was. <laughs> Jeez, I'm chafed into a bubble here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Most holidays are sore and warm. Right, anyway, will we finish? Is there a bit of reading to be done on this? We found out Kurt Cobain's links to Ireland. Do we read through this? Go ahead. Big man Kurt. He's from Carrickmore, if I remember correctly. Why, why can't I move that? All right, there we go. Kurt's striped jumper, the iconic red and black striped jumper. Courtney Love bought it from a fan uh, off his back in Belfast in 1992 as a gift for Kurt after their King's Hall show. Would end up being their last show in Ireland. It was worn in uh, the silver. Is it silver or sliver? Silver, mu silver. silver? Music video. Uh, and tours afterwards. So there you go. Courtney Love shouted at buying gifts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's your birthday today? Got you a fucking jumper off some from Belfast. Fair play to that, man. Good fella. Good fella. He gave you the shirt of his back. No. <laughs> Just walked home with a Celtic top on. <laughs> Great stuff. Nirvana at King's Hall. Uh, what? That very name, King's Hall Show. What? Though that very same King's Hall show, I have no glasses on, uh, has been described as one of their best gigs around that time. All right. About the way people interpret their music. Shut up. Rooted in <laughs> Ireland, which we, me and you both are a lot of times. <laughs> I've Co never been rooted in Ireland. Cobain has family away. roots in Tyrone. He thought it was a different county uh, while he was still alive. The Cobain name was originally spelled Cobain. With no fucking I in it. But was misspelled either accidentally or on purpose over the years on registers and ended up that way. So there you go. Big, big Tyrone man. Yep. Garrick Morta. Smells like Jay's fluid. <laughs> Come on. Give it up. <laughs> Nirvana in the Rebel. Uh, Nirvana's first Irish gig was in Cork, whilst virtually unknown supporting Sonic Youth uh, in the defunct 500 cop venue Sir Henry's. There we go. Uh, into the archives, the full 1992 point gig is on bootleg video. <laughs> After Kurt died in the band man's, was over. Man's, <laughs> man's faded off the fucking off the beamish that night. <laughs> <laughs> Be good to go to a Nirvana concert back in the day and just not really need to know any words. Yeah. <laughs> Cobain was full Chuck then. Aye. Yeah. Basically in the ra. Yeah. Come. 
to the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're thinking of more songs. <laughs> we're thinking That's of more songs. About a song I know. <laughs> I'm out. You took smells like shit. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I just have that one. <laughs> I was like, shit. Oh, spot of right. <laughs> Great music video. Uh, what? So, uh, both of those. Smells like Teen Spirit and uh, whatever that cum song is. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy Nirvana cum. <laughs> oh, don't they? Uh, do you know what? We can't, we, can't, uh, we can't talk about Nirvana without putting on this classic. Um, <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen. Wh- I was going to say, Cobain went to the duck race. What do you mean? They shot himself in the head. I know the cabane myself. Fucking duck race. Listen, whatever Nirvana started, puddle of mud perfected. Now. That's bad. <laughs> Sir. He's going to lose his lips. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, that guy's busting the hard nuts. <laughs> the only way that's explainable is if he uh, those are sound cats on headphones and he can't hear himself and he's like <laughs> He's just beaving the whole song. <laughs> Puddle of beaver. Puddle of crud. Train wreck nirvana cover. <laughs> the bongo just being like the bongo the bongo the session bongo guy just being like I should have just stayed in Tesco the fuck am I doing (laughs) (laughs) it's it's just like someone just wired all that up and set it all up set up those mics and everything Nirvana never had bongos did they this might be a sort of uh, version of the unplugged (laughs) version that they did for MTV Ah, or whatever the bongos truly an unplugged (laughs) instrument just sing it you know don't be like I'm gonna do a Kurt Cobain impression and fail miserably. Yeah, just sing it. Grunge originated in Seattle, right? Maybe that's a fact. I know. Oh, big grunge head. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss Grunge uh, arrived in new metal. Loved it. Yeah. Yeah. I really, really, really like new metal. Yeah. You know? I did. I send you that reel the other day of the guy listening to uh, fucking Lincoln Parks. What's Lincoln Parks' second album? Meteora. Yeah, putting that on on his fucking oh, five yeah, yeah. Ch- desk changer and like <laughs> <laughs> having his fucking mind blown like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> big moves back in the day. That was an event, you know, when you actually had to buy music and get home and put it in the fucking machine. Yeah, you know, you're like oh, yeah. I still like it to a degree, like physical five albums. I really like. I like having the physical. Well, there's a lot of conspiracy around it now. You know, you got, you, you got a lot of big companies buying up music sort of labels mm-hmm. so that in the future music is like a real rich person's commodity like, oh like it'll be you know like real classic shit there's someone buying up like all of led zeppelin stuff or something well that makes that makes i mean that's an extreme but like right now it feels like nothing you know you're like any album that comes out you can listen to it it is great for expanding your music taste because you can listen to anything anywhere yeah but like it didn't used to, it used to be you had to have an interest you go on limewire pirate it or you'd buy it off iTunes. Yeah. But you used to actually have to, you used to be able to buy something and have it. And now they're just going to buy it all up. And then you have to like everything else, rent it. Yeah. And you're only going to be able to have the classic music if you're like rich. Yeah. Like you get all your mates around, eat a couple of fucking, you know, chickens in an egg. <laughs> a real elite party. And then everyone sits around the hi-fi and let's get bits that on. You know, and they'll be like, you know, they'll be like, Brian treated us tonight. Yeah. It'd be hard to shift that one though. Aye. Couldn't give it away. Aye. <laughs> you know. It's good gear. I like it. It's good gear. Is there a grunge bands now it is? Or There's is it dead? Probably. Probably something quite grungy. Grunge and dead? I like hardcore music. You know, like what? Like, you know, the concert, Scooter? like the concerts, where like the boys are getting up on stage, the band isn't doing anything, and then they just do a wee forward roll into the crowd. 
That looks like a good time. Those guys have. Yeah, fun. but then you also see clips where like there's some guy just kind of casually stand at the side of the gig with a beer, and then a guy fucking roundhouse kicks him in the face, and he's like, "Oh, gotta play along, yeah, bro." There right. was a yeah. there was a fella. So I haven't been in like you know, the height of pits for me would probably be you know at a rap concert, but when I saw Turnstile, I can't vlog now. Now you see the real hardcore boys be like Turnstile is no, I know a load of wet lettuce. But listen, I, t- I had to tell you, Glow On, fantastic album. Anyhow, I digress. Enough hot takes for one day. In the camp vlog, not pits, which were non-stop, there was one guy, and he had... There's always one... Like, see this here? Like, the guy had the shirt off, and he was doing, like, full... Like this here, the whole way through, yeah. and sweating. Look, he just like, no need for that now. Smack the guy. Get him out. It's a bit like, you know, when, like, there's a war going on, and then an actual psychopath has a reason to kill people. Yes, exactly. That's what it's like. Yeah. Like, look at this guy. Look. He's charging up. Look, he just knocked, he knocked them out. Also, this is in like the, a community center. It's not on top of the town bar, no. Dave's, yeah. Dave's into this. No, you see, these boys have bad etiquette. This is not what it's about. I mean, every guy there looks like me, but. <laughs> you ever listen to the Bounce and Souls, Dave? This boy just chitting like people. That. He's got glasses on. That's fucking asking for trouble. Look at this. He's digging some woman to death. It's always... All these gigs are like... You know, in like a fucking Castle Court car park or something. What the fuck's going on here? Yeah. Do you think if you're a big, like, jack guy at that, you're a target? Or would you clear the whole pit? Like, if you're actually a guy that's in, like, good shape. Because these are just, like, you know. These God, are f- what the fuck is going on here? Are these just fights breaking out? Or what? Beatdown compilation. Imagine going into work the next day, just, like, fucking 14 stitches under your eye and two teeth missing. You're like, oh, my God, are you okay? And you're like, oh, well, night of my life. Yeah. That was a guy named Oak. Seen my favorite band last night. Straight to Forbidden Planet. Yeah. <laughs> Straight back to Forbidden Planet the next day. <laughs> You out in a school night? <laughs> fucking no- nose over here. Yeah, man. Fucking that band with class, man. <laughs> Just chin the fat goth in the mouth. Yeah. Some bastard bumped into my rock sack, broke my Foco Pop. <laughs> <laughs> look at th- I mean, these just look like... like why are you going for the guy dressed as a carrot? Like, you know. Well, the carrot's back at him. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It's like it's like actual psychopaths that have like got into this environment and they've Imagine your mate just going like, Do you wanna go see a band tonight? And then you're like, Oh you know you know, what do I do? And he's like, just I don't know, finish that drink and I don't know, pick someone out. Just <laughs> fucking charge over and smack him in the face. I feel like this is bad representation of the community. I think so? Yeah. I don't know, you like hardcore, you know, I don't I'm so hardcore. <laughs> yeah. H2O, so- you ever listen to them? <laughs> Love them. There's always like some, you know, tall, uncoordinated guy trying to throw some roundhouse kicks. <laughs> but can you enjoy that in your house? You know, you're in the kitchen by yourself, like... They <laughs> definitely <laughs> are. Fucking yeah. sm- smashing fucking neutrobullets out of them. <laughs> Doing free sexies, man. <laughs> right now, you came in your eyes. I know, just the same. <laughs> it's immediately started. You just hear the Bluetooth speaker connecting. But you were boop, 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 <laughs> and you're just like... Do <laughs> <laughs> you know one thing about them? They the never boot. tire. They never tire. This oh, guy, tire? this guy in camp vlog. No, it was just going the whole time. <laughs> no, like, no water bricks or no? Nothing? Like literally, just like up there, and then fucking. Like, yeah. What's this at? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you be no good at hardcore shoot. <laughs> what? <laughs> I would take a thing. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah I went to see the gallows one time and headbutt the guy in the chest and floored him. Because I'm not enough. Is it down? <laughs> Did you actually? Oh, what? Uh, you threw a headbutt? Yeah. You mad bad. I didn't know that. Right in the what chest. concert was that? Gallows. Is that a headbutt kind of concert? Let's see. Uh, Am I on stink? They're pink too. Let's see now.
they had but occur. Just heavy motion. Guy took a big run at me and I just went, dunk. Oh, nice. Dropped him like a bag of spuds. Nice. Did you help him up after? Or were you like, nah, fuck eh? Did you help him up I after? I supposed like to. I just stood in his neck and walked on. <laughs> Bought myself a new t-shirt because I sweated through it. Yeah. It's good times. The uh, last pit I was in was Donnie Brown. Oh, yeah? In Toronto. In the pits. Oh, I love it. Class. I love it. But the sweat isn't worth it. No. It's not worth it. Not when you leave into the cold Canadian air. No, me right. and McCartney fucking soaking in a, uh, what do you call that, wing place? Wing stop? <laughs> <laughs> what, do play, what do you call that, wing place? We stop that? <laughs> wing stop. <laughs> what do you call that, hot went for pizza? Oh, for fuck's sake. We better go on the Patreon here. Aye. Any final thoughts on Jeffrey Donaldson before we go over? Uh, it's not a disciple name, tell you that. No. <laughs> JD, not a disciple. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we will see you next week. Thank you for listening. We're back in the lab. We're doing it live. Uh, make sure you go to patreon.com forward slash the bomb squad pod to get yourself an equivalent number of exclusive episodes see as, you there is, as there is public ones yeah Derry? and we'll see you in Derry and hopefully we'll have done a bit of preparation by then we will we will and by preparation I mean I'll buy a Tony Soprano outfit and you buy Bolly Walnuts yeah. whatever his name is open the pit huh? Fuck it, oh uh, yeah if all else fails open the yeah, pit throw the bows <laughs> take that I don't go Derry people would take well to the no fucking damn hey <laughs> you fucking kidding me Wow. Right, guys, we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, there we go. Big we'll, box. We'll see you next yeah, week. We'll probably be. Might not have a podcast next week. Maybe we'll have a, um, a professional boxing bite organized or something. Hope you guys have a lovely week. Yeah. And look after yourselves. Yeah. Blessings. Random button. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>